Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. We've enjoyed a relatively quiet day and a very warm day as well. Just a couple degrees cooler than where we ended up yesterday. Uh, but we did have a little bit of a temperature spread as expected. Some mid to upper 70s across southern Illinois where you have been dealing with more clouds. And now some scattered showers and storms versus the low to mid 80s southeast of Evansville where we featured more in the way of sunshine but also dry conditions as well. But everyone starting to get in on the cloud cover. And yes, we are seeing the first of those showers and storms beginning to move through part of the tri but our network of tower cameras showing some peaks of sunshine at times, especially our Owensboro tower camera where you can see some of the sky there uh, looking towards the Blue Bridge and also some peaks of sunshine looking towards the bend in the Ohio from our downtown Evansville camera. Temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees, 80 degrees on the dot right now in the city of uh, Owensboro. And that's where we begin right now. Our roofclaim.com tower camera showing, again, a little bit of some breaks in the clouds, but that's going to be few and far between here as we go deeper into tonight on the east side of Evansville High Top Deaconess Gateway Hospital. That's the view of the Lloyd Expressway and I-69 showing uh, what looks to be some darker clouds. Now, we don't have any rain in the immediate Evansville area, but that will be changing later on tonight. And here's a look at current temperatures. Again, still dealing with a little bit of a spread where it's mid to upper 70 to the north. Fairfield coming in at 75 degrees, 75 also in Princeton, Evansville at 77, but still some 80s across the western Kentucky, Calhoun, Madisonville over to Beaver Dam all sitting at 81 degrees and it's going to be another warm night tonight but the showers and storms are associated with a cold front so temperatures will be dropping as we get closer to daybreak tomorrow morning and we're going to see just like today for the highs, our lows tonight are going to be a pretty big spread from northwest where the cold front will move through first versus down to the south across western Kentucky, southeast of Evansville, a warmer nighttime temperatures. That cold front won't move through until later in the morning hours of our Monday. But no alerts in the immediate area. Technically, that severe thunderstorm watch does go until 7 o'clock for Clay County. But that's the southern edge of the watch box, and that is set to expire within the hour. And no severe thunderstorm warnings with this line at this time. So that is encouraging. There is, again, that uh, marginal level one risk for our southern Illinois counties that does come up just across the Wabash into parts of uh, Gibson and southwestern Knox County as well. But again, so far the storms are behaving, but picking up in intensity just west of I-57. There's some heavy rainfall and some lightning strikes being detected from live first warning Doppler radar. And this activity moving to the northeast, the system as a whole moving to the east. So it is going to take some time to advance closer to the Evansville area. So if you have any evening plans, it's going to look a little gloomy, but we should stay rain free until later on tonight. That won't be the case, though, for Southern Illinois. As you can see these storms really starting to blow up over the last a half hour to one hour. And over the next one to two hours, that trend will continue. So Southern Illinois, you get in on the activity first. I think about closer to midnight for Evansville and then overnight tonight for our eastern and southeastern counties as this system slowly advances to the east. No additional watch boxes at this time. That may change. But again, at this time, we really haven't seen anything strong or severe with this line up to this point point in the afternoon and evening. But Future Tracker is going to show that storm complex kind of growing over southern Illinois. So again, you get it first over the next couple of hours, closer to about 11 to 1 a.m. for the Evansville Metro. And you can see Future Tracker shows things pretty much blowing up, but again, kind of advancing slowly by daybreak tomorrow morning. As that moves out by the lunch hour, we still hold on to the clouds and maybe a couple leftover showers possible early tomorrow. But some breaks in the clouds, it is going to turn cooler though as we're back below normal with highs in the upper 50s to low 60s across the tri-state tomorrow and then upper 50s to near 60 for an even cooler day on Tuesday which will feature plenty of sunshine and that's going to continue into our Wednesday as well and there's what I mentioned that marginal level one risk out of five on the severe weather scale for our southern Illinois counties so temperatures tonight through the 70s we will start to see those temperatures drop in a pretty big spread in our lows as we head into the mid 50s to low to mid 60s for our uh, overnight lows tonight and after that cool down to start our week we will see another system come through it looks like another cold front on Saturday so we do have the weather aware tag on that uh, too early to tell if anything would be strong with that but it does look like a pretty good rainmaker uh, for the start of next week so we'll be watching those storms developing this evening not expecting anything widespread but we'll be tracking that in the weather center through the evening all right well thank you Cody